सो गेट इज जस्ट सेवन मंथ्स अवे फ्रॉम नाउ अ लॉट ऑफ यू विल बी थिंकिंग इफ इट इज पॉसिबल टू क्लियर गेट एंड गेट अ गुड रैंक इन दिस मच टाइम I won't say that you can relax and study slowly and you will be able to clear gate but at the same time these 7 months can be crucial and they can give you a good rank in gate if you utilize it well so these blocks that you are seeing these are the number of weeks available to you you can see you have about 28 weeks i have just done the rough calculation here but you can visually see that how important each of these blocks will be if you are sincere about your gate preparation so the next question that you will be having is what is the right way to prepare since you have a limited time what is the right way to utilize this time so i am going to tell you a very easy plan a three step plan and if you can execute it for these remaining months without getting distracted by the shiny objects by the some new book or any new video if you can just stick to these basic three steps you will be able to get a good rank in gate so in the first step that is a prioritization you need to understand that gate has different weightage for different subjects some of the subjects hold a very high weightage and if you just combine five or six topics in any gate paper they lead to about 50 to 60% of the total weightage or you can say 60 marks out of 100 in the gate paper and also there are certain topics in each subject that are very important there are questions that are asked from these topics so for each subject you will be seeing irrespective of how big or small that subject is that there are certain topics that are repeatedly asked there are certain topics that are less frequently asked so you need to prioritize on these both sides that is what are the high weightage subjects at the same time what are the topics in each subject that are really important then the next part that is a practice and for practice you might be trying to solve some conventional book or some other exam before you actually solve gate pyqs that is a major mistake you are appearing in gate so gate previous year questions are the best asset for you in this preparation so if you have completed a subject or in each subject also if you have completed the topic it's your responsibility or it should be a priority for you to solve the previous year questions for gate if you try to look for various sources you will lose time in that part so unless you are not finding questions in gate pyqs from a topic you need to stick with gate pyqs and master solving them instead of looking at these various resources now the third step that is the testing part a lot of students avoid this step until the very last month or they don't really do this step often and that is the biggest mistake that you can do in your preparation whatever time you are allocating if you are spending time in studying a subject you need to make sure that you give a subject test and once you are done with subject test you, and you have covered the syllabus it's your responsibility to give enough mock test or the full length test because in the exam you are not just supposed to answer some theoretical question or write one page answer all the questions that you are going to solve will either be mcqs msqs or numerical answer type so you need to make sure to solve all these three type of questions while you are preparing and these tests will help you practice that exam mindset that is very important so here i am sharing a 200 days study plan with you for gate civil engineering based on your understanding of different subjects if you have studied some subjects you can modify this plan but this will give you a reference point to how you should approach this preparation so if you take just these five subjects out of the gate syllabus that is soil fluid transport maths and aptitude that is about 50% of the total weightage in gate or 50 marks in the gate exam which is really good so you can see you need to prioritize these subjects and at the same time i am not suggesting that you should skip other subjects but these subjects should not be left for november or december those last one or two months you should not leave these subjects out for that time now at the same time revision becomes a major problem for students so here you need to make sure that if you are allocating 30 days for a subject then you don't consume all those 30 days just for the first reading of that subject because you will need to revise the subject so if you are going to spend some 25 days in maths then make sure that you spend first 14 to 15 days in your first reading 
and then leave 10 days for your revision. Revision you can do in a spread out fashion or you can leave a few days like a week or so for the revision and revise the entire subject. So that is up to you but you need to make sure that you finish these priority subjects. So these are three or four steps and at the same time these can be your mistakes also that is you have not planned you don't know the weightage of different subjects and you are randomly trying to study some subject. So you need to see what is the priority for you here. At the same time, solving PYQs from each subject, each topic, don't skip them. Don't try to go to different resources that will waste your time. You have limited time. So make sure that you have completed the PYQs of each topic first. And yes, if you have done that, you want to practice more. If you have time, you can go to other sources. Then comes the testing part. So you need to make sure that after completing a subject, you are giving a test for that and once you have completed these subjects you are giving full length tests and also revision is an important part so make sure to revise each subject after a month of its completion and don't just read when it comes to revising make sure that you are giving test of that subject again, solving questions from that subject again when you're revising the subject. So I hope you take your preparation seriously. And if you're interested to prepare with us, you can check out our website and see our courses. We'll be happy to help you in your preparation.